Hey, it's Dr. Nadia, founder and CEO of Doyen Leadership Institute. And I am so excited to share with you some of the changes that I've recently made in my business. Um, but before I get into that, I just, I want to share a little bit about how all of this came to be. Because sometimes when we make decisions in our businesses as entrepreneurs, they catch people off guard. And I actually had a conversation today with one of my good friends and colleagues, and she reminded me that we've been having this conversation for over a year. And so while some of this may feel sudden, um, I'm really excited that I finally had the courage to, to make this pivot, to make this shift, um, and what that looks like. Um, part of it is, you know, overcoming that lack of confidence, right? You have that moment of, I have this idea, I'm not really sure if this will work. And quite frankly, my identity has been kind of tied up in things that I've done in the past. So what happens if I come out and say, surprise, this is what I do. Um, and so I've been working through that. I've spent a lot of time uh, talking to my counsel and my husband. And really just getting quiet and figuring out, okay, what does this look like? And so I am really excited because I made the decision to shift and really provide support for women entrepreneurs or otherwise, aka womanpreneurs, <laughs> in being able to generate revenue in their business, also known as making a lot of money in their business, and having fun doing it. So what does that look like, Dr. Nadia? What the heck are you talking about? Um, in that, we're, my focus now is a lot more on sales. I will still have that leadership component because part of what I do is help women business owners build their own teams. And this is something that we get caught up in. We have this big vision, and then we decide that, you know what? I got this. I'm going to build it all by myself. And I'm finding from a lot of my clients that that's exactly where they were. And they're like, oh, my heavens, I can't do it all. And I no longer even have the desire to do it all. So I'm excited to be able to come in and support them in that and or help them map out next steps and help them build their own teams. And that is my passion and my love for strategy and training couldn't be a better match. So a couple things. One, I wanted to talk a little bit about, I mentioned one C, which was confidence. Really having that confidence in yourself and in the confidence and the strength of your idea when you're making a pivot. Because let me tell you, making a pivot in your business and in your life, whoo, is not easy. It took me over a year to get to this place. And I have a lot of people and what I call my counsel who were like, um, excuse me, what are you doing? <laughs> Have you thought about this? Or I'd be like, I'm not doing that. And they'll, they'll give you a little bit of grace. Some of them are a little more aggressive than others. I'm like, all right, come on, chop, chop, right? So that was wonderful. The other thing is the comparison trap. Oh my gosh. Being caught in that trap of comparison, either comparison to other people, like I don't know who else is out here doing this, or she's doing it, so why should I do it, or any of those variations. Let me tell you, comparison trap is very dangerous, and it's really dangerous when you're in that process of doing something you've never done before, or especially when you're trying to do something or you're thinking about doing something that no one in your immediate circle is doing. You feel like one of these things don't go with the others, and you're like, oh, great, I get to be the oddball yet again. So what does that mean, Dr. Nadia? This is great. You're doing sales training and helping people with teams. What does that really mean? Well, first, let's talk about what I had to let go. Because part of this pivot and part of my angst and my anxiety about this change was that things in my business would not all look the same. And as part of this transition, we let go of Take the Leap 2017. That's right, you heard me. I will not be hosting my 2017 Take the Leap event. Um, and that was not an easy decision to make. I am so thankful for my peers and my team and those women that I reached out to who were gonna come out and pour into the ladies attending this event for just being so gracious 
and helping me work through that process and being gracious when I called and was like, so about this event we've been planning before you buy your plane ticket. <laughs> and it was, it, was, it was a very difficult decision, but go ahead, mark that off your calendars, but don't worry. New things will be coming in 2018, so just stay tuned. Another thing that was near and dear to my heart that I let go of was working with the women who were a part of my tandem program. Now, you talk about having to send out some communications and picking up the phone and having some really awkward conversations. Not awkward in the sense of, you know, like you've done something wrong, but awkward in the sense of, I actually like you. I really like you. I believe in the vision of what you're doing. And I'm no longer a good fit for you. And having that conversation and assuring them that I still love them and I'm here to support them, it just looks a lot different. So those are the two biggest changes, I believe, that have taken place over the past couple of months as I've been implementing this big shift. Ah! So let's get to the good stuff. What, have you, what are you really up to? And I'm moving my book. So there are a couple of things that I've been reading that have been helping with this as well. One is called Running Lean. I don't know what it is about me and book covers, but I have a problem. As an author, I don't know. But anyway, it's Running Lean. <laughs> and it's um, really about, you know, when you're making a pivot or a shift in your business and being able to pull together the iterations and create a model, because now I'm creating something very different than what I was doing before, um, to help you get there. So that's been great working with people, members of my council in that. And another one, you're going to hear more about this in the coming weeks is the five second rule. So I've been reading this book, phenomenal book by Mel Robbins. And it's one of those days and I probably should have been working and I was scrolling through Facebook, but I came across this amazing video and I'm so glad I did. I bought the book life changing. So like I said, we'll, we'll talk more about that in the future, but let's get to the good stuff. Woo! All right, so what does this mean? What the heck are you doing, Dr. Nadia? I'm so glad you asked. So, a couple things. I now have three core offers. Super excited, y'all, because it's been the bomb.com. Uh, the first one is done for you sales support. That's right, you heard me. To be able to have a team come in and you can outsource your sales support and you're not having to run out of those discovery calls, honey, let me tell you. And my clients are loving it. I've had clients say, oh my gosh, Dr. Nadia, you are the answer to prayer because I've been building this business and I've been getting so busy with the servicing that I haven't been able to keep up with the relationship building and the connection and making sure I'm managing my pipeline in the way that I desire. So to be able to have someone come on board and help have that take the, those reins and really support in that way, phenomenal. Let me tell you, my clients are like, woo, yes. Yes and yes. So I'm really excited about that. It's been going very well. We've been working on that behind the scenes and my clients that have already signed up for that are just so excited that I'd have made this decision to pivot. So again, sometimes that lack of confidence and that fear and you're wondering, should I do this? Let me tell you, all my doubts went away when one of my clients is like, no, seriously, you're the answer to prayer. Like, what? Really? You? Oh, okay. Now, what else does that mean? The second thing is there are those that are ready and that at a point in their business where it makes more sense for them to build their own team. So the second thing that I help them do is build, hire, identify, get those systems in place, get them trained and coach, and voila, you have your own team that you can manage, you can do the things that you need to get done, and it's amazing. But again, clients are like, I don't have time to go find these people and interview them and talk to them and get them up to speed. Just make it happen. That's where I come in. I come in, I help with that, and I'm super excited because I love to train. I love, you know, just do my thing. And then the final thing um, that I provide are one-on-one -on -one intensives. So for those clients that may not be at that point where they need sales support, but they're like, look. I need to get better at this. I need to look at my own systems, how I'm doing things, what that looks like, and how I can really make sure that I'm generating the revenue that I want to generate and I'm not leaving money on the table. One of my clients recently said to me, Dr. Nadia, I've been at this for eight years. 
I am tired of leaving money on the table and I owe it not only to myself, but to my family that I really tighten this thing up and I get to help with that. How exciting is that? So that's, that's what I've been up to. So you may be like, whoa, 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 Dr. Nadia, how do I get in on this? Girl, I didn't know you were doing all this behind the scenes. So glad you asked. But before I tell you how to do that, there are a couple of things that I want to be clear about. Because a lot of people ask, especially about done for you sales support, how can I outsource my sales support? Here's how you know if you're a good fit. Number one, you are not a good fit if you feel that outsourcing your sales support is a solution to the fact that you are simply afraid to sell. That is not what this is about, at least not for me. There may be someone else out there that can support you in that way, but if you're like, oh my gosh, I'm afraid to pick up the phone, let me just hand it off to Dr. Nadia, eh, wrong answer, not a good fit. Number two, you're not a good fit if you don't know what the heck you're selling. So <laughs> I work with clients who already have a product, they've already been out there getting things done, they know what works, and they're looking for someone to come in and support to take their businesses to the next level. If you're at that point, we're not a good match for that just yet. And you may be a great candidate for a one-on-one -on -one intensive, so we can talk about that. But let's just be clear about what's a good fit. Number three, we're not a good fit if your business is floundering and you feel like Dr. Nadia is my savior. Let her come in and work her magic and save the day. Now, while I do own a pink cape, and I can't work some magic, that's not how this works. So we definitely want you to be in a healthy state in your business, and again, it's not a magic pill because there are some things, and sometimes it takes time to really get those systems in place and develop those relationships. And so if you're like, last ditch effort, we're on our way down to sink and shipping, the ship is sinking, then no, no, not a great fit. And let's see, I think that's it. Those are my big ones. Um, and again, you're looking at how you're growing your business, what it is that you're doing in your business. I tend to work with more established businesses, not necessarily newbies. And we're looking to take your business to the next level and really generate those, that revenue and where you want to go and taking it there. So you're not leaving money on the table. You're taking really good care of your clients and you're generating the revenue that you desire to generate. So if that sounds like you and you're like, Dr. Nadia, I got this. I got this. Give me a call or head on over to meetwithdrnadia.com. That's meetwithdrnadia.com. Let's schedule some time to chat to see if you are an amazing candidate for one of the programs that I now have available. And I'm so excited. My clients are excited. And things have been going a lot faster than I thought. And I was like, oh crap, I was talking to my counselor. Like, I better tell my list. I better tell my community what I'm up to. Because I've been over here in the lab, kind of hanging out, doing my thing. And no one knew what the heck I was up to. So now you know. And I'm excited. And I've worked through all the emotions around letting stuff go. And I've had some very difficult conversations. And I, I know, oh my gosh, it takes a lot of courage to make a pivot. But I am so glad I did. So this is Dr. Nadia, your champion for womanpreneurs, signing out. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.